The Coalition's comfortable victory in the Fadden by-election is being explained partly by the rising cost of living. Its success has spurred the opposition to develop a new policy aimed at easing pressures on the family budget. After a fruitful night on the Gold Coast, the Coalition is hoping Saturday's by-election win will freshen up its message for the second half of the parliamentary year. Absolutely voters were sending a message about cost of living. The cost of food has risen almost 8% over the year to May, compounding other pressures like health, rent and electricity. With Fadden in the bag, the Deputy Liberal leader has embarked on a two-week national tour hoping the sentiment in Fadden will be reflected in other parts of the country. Well, the government is talking about energy relief and they're talking about cost of living relief, but it's actually not a reality. We have been focused on the cost of living from the moment that we came to power. Political sparring will soon give way to new policy. The opposition is preparing an alternate cost of living measure which it plans to unveil after the winter break. Watch this space when we go back to Canberra. I know that Peter Dutton and the team will have much to say in the next session of Parliament. Relief on climbing energy prices is expected to form part of the opposition's proposal, but is unlikely to include new direct cash handouts. If you simply hand money over, then that's money you have to find somewhere else as a government. That's why at the end of last year we put in place a package which was opposed by Peter Dutton and the Liberals to put downward pressure on energy bills. The Coalition preparing to detail its plan when Parliament returns at the end of this month. Cameron Redden, Sky News, Canberra.